Good day from the 65th Annual Cannes Film Festival. I'm Ian Roberts, and I'm presenting to you a program created by Paramax and Mund West, a program entitled Con Echo 2012 in partnership with Screen International. In our program, we have a unique opportunity to take a look into the world of film finance. Through a series of interviews and roundtables, we gain valuable insight from the leaders of the film finance industry and how they are bridging the gap between unique storytelling and the financial resources to make them become a big screen cinematic experience. In this edition of our Con Echo series, we had the opportunity to sit down with Martin Cup, executive director of the AFCI and his colleagues across the globe in understanding the role of international, national and regional film commissions. Let's hear what they had to say. My name is Martin Cuff and I am the executive director of an association called the Association of Film Commissioners International. And collectively we make up uh, government agencies predominantly who drive economic development from the film industry. The nature of film commissions and, and uh, film agencies that promote uh, the development of economies through film are all very different. And we're going to go through the team and discuss exactly how their film commissions are structured and the, the major roles that they play within their own communities. Well, Ontario Media Development Corporation is, as Martin says, actually an economic development corporation. Uh, and we fund and support the creative media industries in Ontario. So for us, that includes publishing, it includes music, and the screen-based industries. So film and television, uh, and of course, interactive digital media. So, and we've got a range of services. Our film commission provides um, location support and assistance to anyone that's working in Canada. We have a number of different investment funds uh, that are focused on supporting um, producers that are making content uh, in Ontario and, and are working in co-production arrangements with producers elsewhere around the world and that's a real focus for us is building those international partnerships and then lastly we administer a range of tax credits which help to actually finance uh, those projects that uh, we're trying to get done back home in Ontario. From your side you know, film commissions originally were about bringing in business, but the OMDC is also about supporting local industry and growing local. Can you talk to us a bit more about that? Absolutely. The creative industries in Ontario are really big business, just to stick with that theme. Um, they generate something on the order of $12 billion to, in GDP uh, to Ontario every year. So, it, you know, it's just bigger. Just from Canadian? Just, just from Ontario. Okay. That's just sure. one, one province, one state in Canada. Um, <laughs> so, you know, the, the government is really supportive of it um, and what's really nice particularly in our film area is we've worked very hard at building the domestic industry um, and now of all of the film activity that happens in Ontario each year 70% of that is domestic activity or international co-productions that are you know creating jobs um, and wealth and and so on right there in Ontario so we certainly it's important to us to bring foreign productions uh, into into the province, and that's an important part of the ecosystem. Uh, but you know, real focus on domestic and, and co-production activity. Thank you for watching our Con Echo 2012 series. 